Hi everyone, it's Paralympian Jake Templeton here from Australia and in this week's swimming related information video I'm going through why it's important to be able to top up your skill set if you can now swim all four of the competitive strokes. So if you can, that's an amazing job, good on you, uh, but now it's, it's, it's time to take on the additional swimming skills which include the tumble turn or whichever turn it may be, um, the, the underwater work, the breakout, the finish, and, and just pushing off the well with great technique as well. All of these things are perhaps the skills that your regular swimmers, people that are just trying to improve on their fitness, they don't work on these other skills that can really help them get down the lap much quicker. And I'm not going into the specifics of all of these additional skills in this video, but merely the importance of, of these skills. And I'll give an example, which is if you're swimming a, a short course meters race, which is 25 meters per lap, Obviously, the free swimming time is really important, and that's why I said it's, it's great to be able to swim. Um, it's, it's awesome to be able to tick off that, that uh, box, but now it's time to add the additional skills like the underwater work, like I said, because in short course swimming, the, the underwater work is capped at 15 metres um, for a reason, and that's because it's a really fast skill. Many people can do the underwater work faster than they can swim on top of the water. So if you perform that underwater work for 15 metres, for example, then you get up and do your free swimming and then before you know it you've got to turn again so you know over 60 percent of the lap is additional skills it's not actual swimming so in, in that example it just shows how important in whatever type of swimming whether you're a competitive swimmer whether you're swimming for leisure or fitness how important these top-up skills really are and, and you the more you do them the more you realize that they aren't just top-up skills they are really important skills so um, whatever level you're at, awesome job, and, and just try and, and add to your skill set. Like I said in the text, you know, it's just like having um, the main tools in your toolbox, which is being able to swim the butterfly, the backstroke, the breaststroke, and the freestyle. But just completing the toolbox is by adding these additional skills. Um, and for example, with the push off the wall, have a great drive off the wall, just like you're jumping and jumping as high as you can. You're just going to be horizontal. That's the only difference. You know, you need to get that great knee bend and really drive forward, make the most of the glide. Uh, then you do that great underwater work where you don't just come up at a sharp angle and then you do that breakout stroke and start swimming. So there's so many, you know, other things that we can do besides work on our actual swimming to get better or fitter or faster um, or get, you know, add more laps to your given workout. There's many other things that you can focus on that actually can give you not just the one percenters, but in many people's cases, and even in the case of many Olympic and Paralympic swimmers, you know, five or ten percent. It's not just one percent that you can improve on by doing an awesome underwater work or an awesome turn or an awesome finish every single time. That could be multiple percent. So um, all the best. I hope you're having a great week. Hope that helps, um, and I hope that reinforces it if you already are doing these skills pretty well. Just you know remember how important they are to do them awesome every single time. So for more information, go to my website, www.jacobtemple.com. Hope you're having a great week, uh, and I'll have another swimming-related video next week. Cheers. Bye.